Uh, I feel like all the dead presidents are living okay under the sea in a What's coral reef. What's wrong with you right now? You're losing your mind right now. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what your you? brain's mush. Oh, I've been working on a character. Potato brain. I need I need feedback. All right, let's see. Okay, hang on. It's tough to Is do. Is it for voice. Mortal Kombat or no. in real life? No, just a character I'm working on. To do yeah, on that's stage. what Brian does in his spare time. Um, and Greg read books. <laughs> we read books. My name is Trademark, but you can call me Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you keep doing that? I don't get, I don't get the joke. <laughs> hey, hey Greg. My name is Trademark, but you're such a good friend of mine. I'd like you to call me Mark. Oh my god. I make the best molasses this side of the mess. <laughs> <laughs> his brother's the name. The fact that you've been his... working on this makes me so sad. I'm his twin brother named Patton, but I like you so much, you can call me Pat. I co directed and wrote Terminator 2 Secret of the Ooze. <laughs> He's a uh, he's a hermit living out in uh, the Kentucky mountains. The like Catskills. Him. What's that? The cat. The Appalachians. Yes, yes. And he drinks Mountain Dew. He's the guy on the old Mountain Dew thing. Yeah. I was looking at that, and I'm like, you know, he, he'd sound just like trademark. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> My name is trademark. My name is trademark, and I invented electricity. And anyone that tells you different. You need to hand them a skittle and say, get on your way. <laughs> Trademark, it's mama. <laughs> <laughs> mama, what are you doing here? I'm trying to call you for dinner and you won't ring to the bell. You can just call me on my Boost Mobile. Where are you at? <laughs> 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 Where's my sister Jessie? Oh, that's right. She died years ago and she tried fighting that bear, but she collapsed from lung cancer. <laughs> it was a very tragic day for us. <laughs> when Paul left, <laughs> Trademark kind of raised himself. <laughs> Ma, I never told you this, but Paul's dead. I found him oh, no. in the shed, and he was just a skeleton. Oh, no. Because he was working on that damn couch for 52 years. I always told him that work would be the death <laughs> I love your new character. <laughs> ah, shit, my time got you ran out of batteries. Well, you gotta go get a Neo Nano Pet. <laughs> Ma, Mama, can I have a Nano Pet for Christmas? I already got you one of those Nintendo boxes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Nintendo. I thought that was a toaster. It was actually a VCR. <laughs> no wonder all my bread came out all smashed and awesome to play. <laughs> <laughs> like to celebrate every time I have sex with a cigarette, a glass of whiskey, and then jabbing my sister to death with a pool cue right in her eye. He always was a creative boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you look nice tonight. Uh, uh, thank you. I just got my hairs did over in the mountains. Well, I was going to say... <laughs> <laughs> How'd you go over to Mr. Owls? Whoa! I'm, I always mean to, to tell you this. Mr. Owls is your dad. <laughs> you guys are the most dysfunctional family. I'm, I'm half owl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One time I had a deer braid my hair. He just got his sand all over my ears. <laughs> Hey, brother. Yes. <laughs> 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 
You sound just like my mama. You sound just like me. We all share the same voice box. How come you and Ma never talk anymore? How come we never talk? You gave me that shitty bagel this morning. Now, hon, you know we don't eat bagels. That wasn't a bagel. That's why it tastes like metal. It was a caterpillar wrapped in flour. Mama, you know I love that. A deep fried I caterpillar. Know, I know you do. Do you remember when I was with the chainsaw? I know you, I know you <laughs> He's do. growing up. Oh, I know you do. I'm right turning on. into a reptile. Brother, brother, hip puberty. Do you remember when I was a little baby and I you used to cook me that right snack? Dark. You'd make toast and you'd sprinkle a little cinnamon and sugar on it. And then you'd fart could. on it until you blew in the face. It was all I could afford, trademark. <laughs> I'm still scared of sand until this Mama, day. you know I, you why could just you call me Mark. <laughs> why are you scared of sand, son? Because the way it feels between my toes makes me think of Pa. <laughs> Whippering and Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's gone. Remember we had that fundraiser so you could swim the English Channel, but nobody showed up because we were just talking to fish? Was that on Paul's 260th birthday? I never learned how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go to school deep in the woods, and then I remember running, I, running into one of them normal. <laughs> And they told me that I was just getting educated by one of those bears. Don't laugh at them. They all have shoes on. They know what they're talking about. No, oh, my feet are sore. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> Let's weep together. <laughs> yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mama made you this. What? It's just a drawing made out of twigs, and I didn't have actually any glue or anything to write with. So it's just a piece of paper that I laid sticks on. I'll hang it on the icebox. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're out of your minds. I did it. Hey, Sentry. <laughs> <laughs> That's his brother's name. Answered your brother. <laughs> Hey, Sandry, how's that narcolepsy coming? You're always nodding off while you're feeding our alligators deep into the wool. You gotta watch out for those gators. <laughs> Brian's losing his mind. Remember all Don't the dry needles on the Christmas tree that we fashioned into a dildo? No. <laughs> it was the saddest Christmas. <laughs> Paul could only afford to buy you guys a, a used fox and a couple of twigs. No, I never told you this, but he actually got me a chainsaw. And that's what I used to turn his bones into powder and feed <laughs> our family. Paul was always helping us. <laughs> Even after he was gone, he God rest his soul. His bones for us. Why do you sound like me, son? <laughs> <laughs> Just Why want, do you sound like I me? I just want to be you, ma. Ma, ma. Great ma. Sandry, you can't be ma. You got two penises and five vaginas. Now, I always knew I was a strong woman, but for to do produce a boy <laughs> with five penises and seven vaginas, I mean, that's a woman's work. <laughs> <laughs> That was your best quote ever on the show. <laughs> Makes it better that you're shoving McDonald's down your throat. I always knew I was a strong woman. <laughs> but to produce a boy with five penises and seven vaginas. That now that's a woman's work. <laughs> I raise you kids up well. And you turned out to be beautiful. <laughs> Sandra, you're always smoking that pipe, and I've been reading the news, and they're saying... Today, me and Mom the, figured out that if you give me my penises erect in the right order, the secret door opens. 
don't, yeah, they're don't, like leaders. Don't, don't use that kind of language in this house. I'm sorry. Don't say the penis. <laughs> <laughs> don't say the penis. Now, Sandra, you know that language isn't accepted in this household cabin. If Pa was around, he'd give me a good old spanking. Well, I'd be happy to do it in his place. Right on one of my three I would love you to do it, trademark. (laughs) If there's two things in this world that I love, it's It's spanking Sentry and then doing them in the butt. There's there's my boys. And also painting him with ants. Just (laughs) that. That's my boys. (laughs) Oh, my God. You make the best ant paint on this side of the mist. Those ants sacrificed their lives to make you look pretty, Sentry. And gosh darn it, if it, you weren't the prettiest looking five... I don't know. <laughs> He's got a whole mess of things. <laughs> it just looks like some sort of porno down there. <laughs> Don't say the P word in my home. Nah, I'm sorry, Mama. You oh, know. God bless. Thanks. I love you, trademark. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, can I enter the soapbox derby? I don't know. Does it cost much? <laughs> <laughs> I think we could trade some milk, some eggs, some tree bark, $1,700 in computer parts, some of the most advanced technology from uh, California, yay. and 17 women with all their arms and legs cut off. My boy is so clever. <laughs> you can definitely join the soapbox derby, but take your brother. Hot damn, I think I'm going to win this thing. Uh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Sandra, are you ready to get your hammer and little twigs because we can't afford nails? I don't want to do it without Pa. We can have his skeleton be the wheels. He had four skulls. But you grinded it all up to feed me. That was only his femur. That femur fed us for 17 days and 17 nights and 17 brunches and 17 dinners. And 17 years and 17 hairs and 17 eyes and 17 bears. I'm sorry. Everybody looks at me when I start to talk. My name is Trademark, and I like to fuck a lot. <laughs> My son is gonna lose his mind, and I love him still. He trademarks 23 skidoo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he almost had a spit take with a hamburger. <laughs> I almost lost my hamburger. Burger nose. <laughs> oh. Wow. I like your new character. I do. I enjoy him. He's a great family. He's a good, he makes good company. He does. I'm a very shy brother, though, as you noticed. You gotta quit smoking that fucking pipe. Brother, no. sister type thing. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> that was the most womanly thing you've ever done. <laughs> We're gonna have to run it back at one point. Yeah. I don't really... It was like something like that's a woman. I'm a strong. <laughs> I must have been a strong woman to, to birth a boy with seven penises and there are five penises and seven vaginas. Hey, don't mix that up; it will ruin it. All in a woman's work. <laughs> You're a good mother. What was I your, think you your actually, name? Is just Mama. You were born to be a mother. I think you were. I thought I was born to be a father. No, you were born to not be a after mom. this. You were so loving and caring to trademark you were and good. No matter all the mistakes he made and all of the gibberish he talked, you still loved him for They're who he my was. They're bear cubs, and I'm their mama bear. I was born with 22 chromosomes more than a regular human being, so I've become a physicist to figure it out. Turns out, I just had a bugger coming out my nose. That's my trademark, Niggers. always reading them books. <laughs> He's just racist. He's very nice, but he hates black people. Time I woke up to a, a, a mama kangaroo standing on my bed with a koala peeking out of that little marsupial pouch, and it gave me a kiss and then vanished without a trace. It had one of those guns. Oh, trademark, that's just silly. <laughs> <laughs> mama, we should start a kangaroo farm. I've been thinking about it, and I think kangaroos are very versatile. Where are we going to get the finances, trademark? <laughs> we can sell fresh mountain water. <laughs> My 
um, I want some some money. And I know what you're going to say. You gave me 50 cents last week. But it's for the Louisiana purchase. <laughs> now, Hunt, I told you, we can just go sell water. Everybody likes the taste of water. Water Talk Radio. WaterTalkRadio.com. <laughs> now, I heard about that. Water Talk Radio. WaterTalkRadio.com. Hey, Sentry. <laughs> Have you heard about that water talk radio? I, I have heard about it. Do you like eating pretzels, but instead of them being salted, you like it just to be water? Water pretzels. Water pretzel radio. Did you ever think you were climbing a mountain, but in turn it was just a big wave and you were surrounded by water and you had water boots on so you could hike up the mountain? <laughs> Water <laughs> In a past life, were you an Eskimo, but you didn't know how to deal with all the snow and not water, and then you moved to Kentucky and realized that there's just dirt around you, so you moved back? <laughs> And you got financial aid. Water talk, right? <laughs> Were you ever at a Turkish bazaar <laughs> and you bought a camel for 15 squallops? <laughs> And you were riding the camel around, and then you noticed you were just sitting on your couch and you had water poisoning, water talk radio, water talk radio. <laughs> Did you ever slurp the water out of a water damage two by four? No? Water splinters. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever stab your jaded lover with an icicle, and then while she's bleeding, you drink the water pouring out of her wounds? Well, this show's for you. Water Talk Radio. Water Talk Wounds. <laughs> Do you ever have a balloon water fight with your father, but then realize you were throwing rocks and he was all dead? Dead dads. Dead dead. <laughs> dead dead radio dot com. Dead dead. <laughs> dead dead radio dot dead, dead, dead radio dot net. <laughs> Did you ever talk to your father and then he disappeared for a long time and then you found out your mother killed her and when your mother was also in jail? Sure. Dysfunctional families. Dysfunctionalfamilies dot com. <laughs> My father, he was made completely out of breadsticks. Breadstick dad, breadstickdad.com. <laughs> we make bread. <laughs> <laughs>